Jay, Dr. Tabar, we've worked out the uh, the flow here, okay. and um, Dr. Tabar is going to walk us through the okay. slides. All right, very good. Well, let's we go. let's uh, Laszlo. That's probably a next good step, don't you think? Do you want to go through uh, the slides now, With so pleasure. people? All right, please. With pleasure. Let's see the first picture. Uh, the audience can see the name of the three authors, and uh, Marcus can point on the left side the color image. That's actually the breast structure. As you see, the main milk duct, like the trunk of a tree and the branches, and all those purple milk-producing glands could be compared to the leaves on a tree. So women don't need many milk ducts. Indeed, there are only 15 or 18 lobes in the breast. And this is one lobe. Now what is interesting in this book is that, as you see on the lower part of the image, there will be two stereoscopic images. And so those who look at the book are going to be able to see these as a stereoscopic image. We could look at the next uh, slide, Marcus. This is the back side. On the upper left corner, you see three cancers bridged together. And I compare these with sea urchins. Hmm. And let's look at the next uh, slide. And that is the three-dimensional image of one breast lobe. Anybody, even without medical training, can, under, can see now that when we see duct, when we say the word duct, then we talk about, then we see this tube that branches and branches further. Next picture is certainly the comparison with uh, this tree. And then the next picture is a nice comparison with plants. The flowers correspond to the gland on the left side that produce the fluid and the fluid runs out to the duct. Yes, that's where the cursor goes and the duct is distended because of the fluid content. And the next slide shows how the normal structure is distended and distorted. You see a star-shaped tumor on the left side and that's the mammogram of a screen detected non palpable cancer. On the right side, we see the ultrasound image, not the conventional, but this new upcoming three-dimensional ultrasound image, a black hole, and you see the radiating structure of the cancer in black and white. But if we glide down to the right lower picture, there it is, a five millimeter carcinoma detected on the mammogram. Tiny, small, totally curable by Dr. Harness, the surgeon. That's the meaning. What we also want to uh, give out as a message to women is what a revolution early detection means. How much this generation of physicians changed the, the breast cancer patient's life significantly and a great accomplishment in cancer research during the past 40 years. And I, the next slide. Well, before you go on, uh, Marcus, hold on one second. If you can go back for one second. Laszlo on the lower left, I think that's your sea urchin, isn't that's it? That's right, that's right. Yeah, uh, you know, one of the things I'm gonna ask you a little bit later on is some shorter versions of some of this. I, these are fantastic. Uh, again, Todd, and I want to share with our audience, I've been going to Dr. Tabar's lectures, as I said, for over a decade, and he's always done this. He's always brought nature in, and it, it makes our learning experience so much richer. And Laszlo, Marcus, go back up uh, a couple of slides earlier to the, uh, the tree. There you go. And now go back one earlier before that. Uh, literally, uh, Laszlo, yesterday I was trying to describe that to a patient in my office uh, who had a recurrent in situ cancer. 
Mm -hmm. And the the along this ductal system and how much it branches, and I'm sitting here thinking to myself, if I had some of these images in a shorter form, perhaps than necessarily your whole book, and of course you can count on me buying your book uh, to share with patients the visuals of this for education are are simply stunning. That's the only word I can think. Let of. me okay. say something. It, I really appreciate what you say, and that's exactly what quite many colleagues are doing in the United States. Namely, we can provide these pictures. You can frame them, beautiful uh -huh. artwork, right. and you can put it up in your office or when where you talk with the patients. And it's so easy to explain to them Absolutely. why the cyst is formed, what is a fibroadenoma, yep. uh, insight of course, and then what you talk about. Right. Quite many colleagues are are uh, having these pictures, and I would love to give you as a present. A series of pictures. Okay, well, thank you, Marcus. Uh, go ahead and scroll back down now, I, and I love go to the doctor to bar. There, whoop, go back one. Uh, I, I just love here. You've got the mammogram in the upper left, this new 3D ultrasound in the upper right. Correct. What the cancer looks like in the lower right, and then the analogy with nature. When we talk. Laszlo about speculations. That's a big right. fancy medical term, but right. people can really relate. They've most of us have seen sea urchins for crying out loud, and it's right. it's fantastic.